Are you excited for Coachella 2022 this week? Well, guess what? We here at the Krusty Couch have the perfect Coachella-themed horror movie for you. Satanic is by every definition a movie. It has the average runtime to be considered a feature film, and it definitely features actors and actresses alike. It has what could be considered a story, and things sure do happen in this film. Of all the movies we've ever watched, this was definitely one of them. Paul, what did you think of Satanic? <laughs> it was a movie. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep, yes, it was. very movie. Very yes. much. Yeah, and uh, for the first time, we have a special guest on these movie shows that we're doing. It's our good friend, Chris. Hi, it's uh, good to be here. Mm-hmm. I I thought definitely um, I watched it, you know? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Good night, everybody. Sure? <laughs> That's the episode. It's a wrap. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> Frank. I mean, I mean, really, like that's like the most positive thing we can say about Satanic. Like, yeah. I don't even know where to begin with this. Like, well, midway through watching it, I told Paul, I'm like, oh, this is another Steven Seagal where we just talk about all the shit that's not the movie. No. <laughs> it was way worse than, than yeah. the Steven Seagal film. At least there we had like a little bit to talk about. But this is just kind of like. A drag. Yeah. Most of the time we just spent uh, touching each other's penises on the couch. I mean, yeah, that's true. But we do that all the time. Yeah, I but this one was more here. focused. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as they call it, uh, in my neck of the woods, we were hog-holing. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's fucking right. horrible. I, oh, but it, the thing is, I like the comparison that you're making to uh, Cartels, the Steven Seagal movie. Uh-huh. Because although technically proficient in the movie making... Uh, cartels, uh, like the, the, it wasn't compelling, right? Yeah. Like that—that right. that was its biggest issue. There was nothing. There was nothing there, right? The, to, mm-hmm. to, like stuff was happening, but you didn't care. Okay. Yeah. Whereas in uh, this movie, like stuff is happening, but it's almost like you're watching it as another life form. You're you're <laughs> observing things you can't like, you you like have no relation to, at yeah. all. It's like you're looking at like cave like paintings and trying to. <laughs> Trying to decipher it. it. Yeah. It's baffling. Yeah, it's like if, if you if you sized up an ant or a cockroach and you turned them into a human and you told them to make a horror movie, I think this is what they would make. <laughs> exactly. Like, they would just like they just wouldn't know. Like they know that these things are supposed to happen in movies, but they don't know why or like the flair behind it or style really. Like they don't yeah. know anything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and strangely, they're only competent at the gross stuff. <laughs> if it's kind true. of. That's a little bit, yeah. Was, if you can call it, like, gross, it was only a couple of moments where I'm like, oh, that looks good, yeah. I guess. There's a lot of urine we'll, in We'll get movie. to that. Yeah. We'll get to that. Well, I don't even really know where to begin. The reason I drew the Coachella comparisons is because that's kind of the plot of this movie. Um, the three, it is, the isn't three it? Friends, yeah. They're, you see, you yeah, totally what the heck? About that. Yeah, that lines I, up perfectly, doesn't it? Because yeah, this is literally Coachella's Coachella happening week. right now. What the you fuck? Opened, yeah, you opened the you opened the show, and I was like, "What the hell is this guy talking about? He's lost it." He's, what are you talking? about? We're gonna have to redo this whole thing. But you're right. That's just not. Uh, <laughs> No, he's fuck, he's kinda, he's yeah, I just kind of ramble few. on, and then the episode no. ends. <laughs> but that was the plot. What, the plot, in quote, heavy quotes, bold, yeah. bold, thirty point quotes. <laughs> yeah, they they don't even like. It's never mentioned. It's like brought up. It's brought up like a. It's like sprinkled throughout. Like we just go to Coachella. Like, <laughs> yeah. but these friends are on their way to Coachella, and they get distracted because one of them's obsessed with like true crime or something. And so they yeah. visit a hotel room where a girl like killed herself, and from there it kind of starts like the story. They're trying to figure out more about this girl, and it leads them to like a satanic uh, store with the bald guy from Barry. I don't know. Like it just like the just nothing guy. happens in this movie. Yeah, it <laughs> it it is not. It doesn't really meander because I I remember watching it and you said something during. Uh, during uh, the movie, you said, I can't believe there's only uh, 20 minutes left. And I said, mm-hmm. I was like, what? This movie's been on for half an hour. How can there only be 20 <laughs> minutes left? But <laughs> up until that on. point, <laughs> up until that point, we've been watching for like an hour, 10 minutes or something like that. 
I had I had no yeah. idea. So it's it's not accurate, at least for me to say that it, it meanders or that anything. If anything, this movie does a one eighty on you. It's so perfectly paced. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. don't even sure. realize you've been watching it. <laughs> For what it is, yeah, I guess you could say I, it's perfectly paced. It, it's it's more like you're uh, distracted by your everyday life <laughs> <laughs> instead of watching the film. So it just kind of like flies by. I, I wonder if they should show this I think movie I, to people after a traumatic event to bring them back to the real world. Holy shit, you're right. <laughs> At like, least my life's not like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watching the ice melt in my drink was more interesting than watching this movie. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty... more engaging. One ice cube clinked because it, it melted, and the other one fell through. And you're like, "Would you look at that?" <laughs> <laughs> Story <laughs> progression. Wow. I never thought he'd Impressive. make it. Science. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, honestly, our listeners. Like, there are movies that we've talked about that are enjoyable to watch, like. For some fucking reason, Paul enjoyed Septic Man. Good um, movie. We had a decent time with uh, Cartels. There was another movie that wasn't there. Was it just so forgettable that I already forgot about it? Oh um, yes, it's Wish Upon. Wish Upon. <laughs> Wish Upon. Wish Upon's kind of funny, but um, like these three but, movies, yeah. depending on who you are, if you're a sick fuck like Paul, you can enjoy them. But when Paul is talking about how boring this was, then you know. That is, this shit is just no good. Exactly. And Fuck yeah. I usually try to get like something out of a movie. <laughs> anything. But like That's this one, I was just like, oh my god, this is really <laughs> this is really nothing. Maybe maybe one scene. Maybe one. Okay, let's let's hear it. Let's, we're just full spoilers. We're just all over the place because honestly, well, yeah. there is nothing to talk Whoa. about. Whoa, you're cutting ahead too fast. Well, I guess we could. We we could literally talk about the film first, and then we could talk about all the back behind the scenes shit later. I guess. That's true. Because yeah. there's 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 probably more behind the scenes than there is about the actual film. I have an interesting game I want to play with you guys. But first, okay. tell me tell me the one scene you really love. Okay, so we'll talk about the movie first because it, it's it'll take us like two minutes. God forbid um, we actually talk about movies on this movie we, show. Yeah. <laughs> um, Perish the thought. So, I mean, you you've kind of already explained the plot. People are want to be goth guy. Want to want to be goth people. Go explore Hollywood. And they go, oh wow, that's um, Freddy Krueger's house. Wow. <laughs> and then and then they find like a satanic place with the bald guy from Bear. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, the only part that I was like. Oh, what's going on is when the uh, when the gang, the Scooby Doo gang, they bring over the possessed chick or like the the like uh, I don't was she possessed? I don't think she was possessed, that, right? She was like that's I, I guess that's the conceit of the of, of the movie, maybe. I, I, like the ambiguity thing. I don't think she was possessed. I think that she was just like hardcore into sat- satanic shit. Yeah, yeah. So she wanted the the ritual thing. That's why she went to their room. Anyways, that that was the one scene because like they brought her back, and they go, "Man, those guys were trying to kill you, huh?" And then, mm-hmm. then she goes, "Yeah." <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh, they start dancing out of nowhere and then the, the girl starts making out with like everybody oh yeah and then and then she starts peeing herself and puking probably a little bit of poopy in there <laughs> and well, uh just gonna get to your fetish shit yeah well that's why i like the scene um <laughs> and that was kind of it i mean i guess she said that they're in, they're like part of the pack now since i guess they made out together while yeah, she was yeah. scribbling shit and that was really it. That was the only real part that I liked, and I guess some of the effects. I I did say I did say towards the end of the movie when the main character, the most innocent one of the group, by the way, ends up in like box like box land forever. She's like trapped in a box. She's like the back in the back rooms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like trapped in a box like for eternity or some shit, being tortured. Like I don't know. Uh, I I kind of like that scene. Mm-hmm. Just because it was like, uh, I, I, that was the only like well lit scene or not <laughs> not lit scene. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> so, so this movie like has a lot of failures of like filmmaking, where these characters are holding up flashlights to imply that a room is really dark, 
but the the scene is so well lit that it doesn't even matter like it doesn't the flashlight emits like no light it's fucking weird it, it succeeds in the sense that it if you if the point was to light something they did it for a shot <laughs> but as far as yes the the theme the genre of film they're in that's that's the failure it's like they didn't know it's like the guy took one mm-hmm. lighting class in in film school <laughs> Uh-huh. And he he was going off that. Well, you need your bounce, and you need uh, you need the fill, and you need this. But he doesn't know how to adjust that for the kind of movie and and tone that the movie yeah, was going exactly. for. Yeah, like it just has no idea what it wants to be, and it's not a horror movie. I'll tell you that. I don't think there was anything remotely scary in this movie. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah. to say something to that, when I was invited to watch the movie, I was a bit apprehensive because I am, <laughs> I am a known wet blanket when it comes yes, to <laughs> uh, to horror. Uh, there's a very small handful of movies that that I enjoy that are in that genre. So I was a bit. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, it might be mad. It might be a bad movie, sure. But sometimes <laughs> bad movies can just stick with you because even a bad horror movie has some scary element it has some or i slept like a baby that night that's <laughs> that's basically <laughs> nothing stuck there was nothing even 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 in bad scary movies like cheesy even like leprechaun right like thinking about leprechaun it yeah leprechaun's terrifying e- even watching that you're like jesus fucking christ you know or even like uh, yeah uh even like some of the later chucky movies you know what i mean even that's like oh fuck mm-hmm. there's a doll Ah shit! Mm-hmm. I don't want to walk near that thing. But this movie, it's like I ah, I'll walk through all the warehouses. I don't know, who cares? <laughs> it's true, yeah. Like this, and I I think that it can be attested a lot to the director, which we'll get into. Um, but you can tell that this mo- this guy has a very static way of making things, and it does not translate very well into the horror genre because. <clears throat> There's a lot of scenes in this that could potentially be scary if they were executed just like 10% better. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the scares Mr. Mark because it's just so like bland. And it, it, this almost looks like a TV movie, like the It miniseries, you know? And it's just like, it's just all so lazy. Like the entire movie takes place in like one street in LA. Like I kept pointing out <laughs> landmarks that I've been to because yeah. I live by there and I'm like this is all just on the same street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're completely right. <clears throat> and I not to uh delve back into the plot uh too much cuz there's really nothing there. But articular characters of the Scooby Doo gang uh when they go to the the goth store the 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 off-brand hot topic uh-huh. when they walk in there you're, you're supposed to get the sense that uh, the conversation they're having they're supposed to be like foreboding or creepy or anything like that but honestly i was like this guy's just really into his job yeah that, that's the vibe that i got and throughout the whole thing mm-hmm. i'm just like i didn't even understand what was happening because there's a scene with the ouija board or whatever uh, when they're like yep. trying to trying to uh, suss out a ghost or something <laughs> like that, and I'm just yeah. like, what is happening? Like, what is that, what is going on? That was actually a funny little piece of that scene that I liked because uh, they they bring out that Ouija board and they're like, let's let's talk to the spirit, and then the hardcore girl, she's like, oh, that's pussy shit. <laughs> <laughs> and she fucking writes a pentagram on the yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah, she like completely dismisses it, which is yeah. funny because it backs up that these yeah. guys are just posers. And yeah, so. um, uh, it's funny because the the way we get to this hardcore girl is supposedly uh, they they follow them there because someone walking out of the goth store spits on their car or something like that. There's some altercation, yeah. and they're like, "Oh yeah, like fuck those dudes, let's follow them." And they follow them yeah. to, to this warehouse, and I'm just like, guys, just get over it. Like, it, <laughs> like, like no normal people would like follow them. Okay. Yeah, like this is like ridiculously petty. But these being the most horrible people on earth, of course they they go and do that, and yeah, they follow them, and that's where we see the girl allegedly, supposedly 
about to be killed or something or other Mm -hmm. and then they go out of their way to to like intervene and rescue her which is how they end up at the motel room or where where the fetish the fetishization begins yeah (coughs) but what's crazy about that scene at the warehouse is they're all like arm and loaded like they have shotguns yeah and like guns so it's like the movie's trying to so it's like oh wow we're rescuing this girl from like these crazy like actual demon people right yeah but then they get to the hotel room and i guess that's the main crux of the movie that no this girl was the crazy one it was asinine because usually in a movie it's like built up for like your 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 expectation to be subverted right mm-hmm. it's usually built up and they're like oh wow i didn't think that would happen but literally that gang is never brought up again it's true yeah they're just they're mentioned what it's it was almost like like, oh, shit, we need an excuse for this person to be introduced into the plot. Let's just bring in this gang. Exactly. And then, like, a couple weeks into writing, they're just like, hey, so what about that gang? And the director goes, what gang? <laughs> <laughs> and then they had to write a scene with the guy from uh, from Barry. <laughs> and then he had to be like, no, she's, like, way too hardcore for us, dude. Yeah, like, yo, chill, man. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's completely ridiculous. I recognize them from the Flash show, too. It's uh, pretty funny. That's where I recognize him from the Flash. Gotcha. All places. Who is he in the yeah. Flash? Who? He's Reverse Flash. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forgot what he is. He's like he's like one of the bad guys. Mm. Damn. But I remember seeing him there. I, I recognize that. He has that a very distinct look. Anyway. That actor. Yeah, he's fucking bald with I, no fucking eyebrows. Yeah, no <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a goddamn chimp. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. A fucking. <laughs> I hate him. Uh, mole rat. <laughs> More. So let's talk about the director cool? briefly because um you know what Paul likes to do that, so I'm gonna do it this time. Okay. Um Bitch. The director of this movie, his Still name is fire. Jeffrey G. Hunt. And upon perusing his IMDB, remember I noticed I said earlier that this movie feels like it's made for television and yeah. Wouldn't be surprised that this dude only directs episodes of television. What? Wh- like, that's his entire resume. <laughs> what kind of TV? Yeah. Like, TV where... Oh, you've seen it. Like, very, like, CW stuff. Like, Batwoman, CSI, fucking... Um, He's done what, a lot of CSI. Yeah, Gotham. He did uh, Riverdale. Like, he, he's just very much, like, tween drama type guy. Uh... The mm-hmm. CSI makes a lot of sense. Yes. Like yeah. That's like his most worked on show. Yeah, he's been directing it for eight years. Wow. That yeah. that actually long time. It's that fits perfectly because I'm I'm picturing the movie and how it was shot and lit. Yeah. And it makes perfect sense for him to yep. direct CSI. Yeah, when I when I saw his IMDB page, I'm like, ah, okay. The way that this movie looks now makes total sense. That's so crazy. And then uh, his his writer that worked with him, he actually worked on Midsummer. Really? A Midsummer's Ad- Nightmare. Anthony Jeswinski. <laughs> it's not it's not the Midsummer. Oh. You're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> A Midsummer's Nightmare. What is this? <laughs> TV movie. Four young lovers head into the woods to pursue their romantic desires. However, their plans are soon jeopardized when terrifying forces attack, using their own fantasies and secrets against them. I mean, yeah, this is Midsummer. What the fuck? That actually kind of does. <laughs> isn't that, isn't actually that just kind a of does sound like movie? I mean, sort of. <laughs> You're right. Instead of the woods, it's L.A. <laughs> so it's even scarier. Yeah. <laughs> the woods of the woods of Southern California. I'm not sure if this is jumping too far ahead. Is the way that the characters died? Which the whole time you're just waiting for some <laughs> violence. Yes. Some. Because these are these characters are so fucking annoying. We go ahead. Is the way these characters, the way they died, is it supposed to imply or anything some sort, anything about like their 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 past, their sins, their their personality? Because they all die in like specific, underwhelming ways, but they're all so terrible that not, not to me at least, I didn't pick up anything uniquely like. Because usually in the movies it's like, oh, this person, like, yeah. sleeps around a lot or something, or yeah. this person uh, kicks kittens, <clears throat> so they get mauled by kittens. Uh, yeah. This per this person is an adulterer, so I don't know, like their dead wife beats him with a stick or something. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, no, because that would be way too clever, and it takes too much time to think about. Yeah. It's, it's so I remember uh, because when they're at the motel and the girl is like, the way it happens is so, it, it feels like such a non sequitur. Like it'd be like an SNL sketch or something. She She's like making out with mm-hmm. them or whatever, uh, draws the pentagram on the wall. And then she's like standing there. She vomits. <laughs> and this is all like, it's like a wide shot. Yeah. It's like a wide angle. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> have you ever seen that video, The History of Dance on on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, it's it, imagine that, and then <laughs> that's the angle. <laughs> so like, it's like filmed for com. It's like it's like filmed for comedy, and then you just yeah, see her. Yeah, I know what you mean. You see her, and she goes, she like jolts downwards and goes <laughs> <laughs> on the floor. And at first, like you don't think it's like satanic or anything. My first instinct was like, this girl drank too much. <laughs> like someone get her some water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then she That's pisses herself, and I'm like, okay, she really has too much to drink. <laughs> like, someone, <laughs> like, does she have extra clothes? Like, what's happening? No, but then she just, I mean, she probably knew. She was like, I'm going to fucking end it anyway. Might as well. Yeah, and. This penis. I have nothing to prove to these people. The thing about that is, like, was it the ritual that made her do that stuff? <laughs> or was it just her? <laughs> oh, she's a party animal, dude. She's she's fucking around. Coachella. <laughs> Coachella. She's just a freak. <laughs> <laughs> and it's filmed it's it's what's disappointing about it though it wasn't even funny it was just weird yeah <laughs> and i mm-hmm, think that's mm-hmm. that's the real that's the real detriment of this movie it's neither fun to it's not it's not fun to make fun of it's not yeah, it's really not it's not scary yeah it's not at the very least it's not even shot interestingly nope there's no nope very stale. At least with like B movies, you get like gore, like just yeah. fantastic, awfully shot, <laughs> non realistic gore. But in this, yeah. there's nothing. Hey, man. Hey, man, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah, like at least with a movie like, uh, I don't know, like Septic Man, like you had something to appreciate. Like the set dressing was nice, the makeup looked really good. And there was a hilarious gem of an actor in it. Um, <laughs> You're right. Who was just perfect for. Yeah, he should just see? be in every movie. See? Um, you hate it all you want, but we always come back I, every time. I, I did say I did not enjoy that movie very much, but sometimes I think longingly of it when I'm watching something like Satanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? See? Yeah. Um, but imagine. Yeah. Imagine uh, Schindler's List with. Okay. The giant man from Septic Man. <laughs> I could have saved more. Im- imagine <laughs> Seven. Okay. Cut out Morgan Freeman, the giant man from Septic Man. <laughs> it just makes it so much better. I don't. They should do that. This guy needs to be in more movies. If he was in Satanic, it would have been better. <laughs> if he was, oh. if instead of the bald guy from Barry, if it was the guy, the giant man from Septic Man. Dude, that would have been so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was just too hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would have been great. The movie is already so much better. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. Yeah, this, <sighs> it's it's so hilarious. I want to touch upon a, a scene. Um, so somewhere along the plot, after the girl slits her slits her throat, that's what happens at the hotel. Mm. I'm, I'm not sure if we cover that, but she she slits her throat. Mm. You know, uh, kill confirmed. She's out, and then <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, they get interrogated by the cops or wherever they're down the station or something like that. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. It really doesn't matter how they get there because the movie doesn't even care. But they're they're like at someone's uncle's rich uncle's house or like they're at some Airbnb or something like oh, that. Oh yeah. And we're yeah. like like this is like where the weird shit finally <laughs> oh, happens. Oh yeah. Allegedly, <laughs> you know it's been rumored. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But there's one hilarious scene that I can't. <laughs> like they wake up or something and like the TV's fucked up. I don't know. There's like <laughs> there's like dead birds in in the pool. Whatever. Yeah. Uh. The best scene is when they walk in the kitchen and there's a bunch of silverware. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the ceiling. It's stuck to the ceiling. But I think, you know what, you, uh, you pointed it out. You're like, I think the scary part is that the sharp side is down. 
Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, the, the, the three-prong side of the fork, it's not, like, stuck into the ceiling with that in. No, it's, like, the, it's like the three prongs are pointed down. The knives, everything, the spoons. Yeah. <laughs> the spoons is what got me. It's, like, <laughs> watch out. The, the spoon might fall in the perfect angle if you're looking up and gouge your eye out. And scoop your eye out, yep. <laughs> And I'm just like, how? Yeah, it was just. How is that supposed to be scary? Like, because nothing happened from like, oh, the silver is gonna fall, it's gonna like rattle. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's just there. Yeah, they don't even, they don't really specify that it's like a ghost or anything follow them, following yeah, them. They no, just go. They never do. Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of start freaking out. They go, "What's going down?" <laughs> and it's like, but it's like that. I guess could have been done by like a robber or. Or like a burglar or something, because their house was just trashed, really. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, anyone could have done that, and then I guess there was a couple dead birds, but I mean, who knows? You that could have been like yeah. could have been a fart in the wind. <laughs> yeah, that could they could like a, a helicopter could have like flown by at the wrong time or like something, some sort of bird flu. Yeah. Yeah. But there was nothing really saying that they were like haunted or anything like that until the very end, where like the girl, uh, it begins with like the girl getting carved into like a number two on her neck or something it's her stomach i believe oh her stomach yeah, she, yeah her and stomach. then she's like i got a shit yeah, so bad and she goes into the yeah, outhouse i gotta go yeah yeah i gotta go and then she disappears <laughs> and then they it just kind of continues that chain through like a construction area for whatever reason i think and it's then, the same warehouse yeah. that they found the girl at right i don't know maybe you caught it because, i didn't pay attention to that uh, because well, we might talk about this later. I, when we get to the ending, like the actual like twist, well, I, mm-hmm. I think I think that's what it the is. The twist. But uh, go ahead. She was like getting cut up or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, she was getting cut up. Cut, and then they start uh, looking for her because she disappeared from the bathroom or from the port potty, and they're like, "Where the hell did she go?" <laughs> and everyone's like, "I don't know." And then they hear her screaming in the construction site, and then they go chase her up there. And then slowly, one by one, they each get picked off, and then uh, it just ends with the main character, and the main character's running around, and she hears uh, everyone yelling, like if they're in hell or getting tortured or whatever. I guess that's what it's supposed to uh, signify. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then that's kind. Of, uh, they they bring it back to the f- to the beginning a little bit. Do you remember that that one scene in the beginning where? They're driving and they see like a homeless person. It looks like they're humping the window. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, what? Like, what's going on with that? But it turns out that this girl is the girl, or sorry, this girl is the person humping that window because she was trying to get a- attention of her previous self. Yeah. Yeah. So. So they like establish a time loop or some that's, shit. Like, that's the thing. I. Uh, so that's the real hell. Yes. Yeah, so- being in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, go back, go go back to law school. <laughs> you do go back to Modern Family. That's the, oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> it's the girl from Modern Family. Yeah, it is. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, like the the older daughter oh. or whatever. It's the actress from Modern Family. She's like, go back. Yep, do season nine or Jesus. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know Jeez. how they do this because like some of these actors and actresses, they're they're much better in the show. In in their shows, but then they come to like a movie where it could be like their, you know, their big break, and they always shit the bed. Like it's just terrible every time. I I don't think they expect this to be their big break. I'm gonna be real. Well, they probably don't, but like you know what I mean. Like you you would at least try. I would think. I no, dude. Listen, I don't care what kind of an actor you are. Like there is every actor, except for like fucking Daniel Day Lewis. They've they've all accepted an easy check. That's like, hey, just mm. hang out in L.A. for a day. It will pay you 600 k And they're like, well, fuck you. Who would say no to that? Me. Because I love... I'm an artist. <laughs> you put art before, yeah. before anything. I think... That's right. I think with stuff like this, it's usually... At least from my like limited knowledge of behind-the-scenes Hollywood stuff. Mm-hmm. It's usually like... It's usually like... Uh, so this guy worked in TV or whatever. He might... I don't know what network Modern Family aired on, but he might be like the fucking associate producer's cousin. And then they went out to dinner once and then they were like, you should be in this movie. And then uh, it's like, yeah, okay, you're the one that got me this role in Modern Family. 
So yeah, it's it's always politics and stuff. Like Probably yeah. yeah. And then makes sense and then, because one of my favorite characters of all time is also in this movie. One of my favorite character actors, the Asian guy from Twilight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was wondering dude, if you guys yeah. recognize them. Yeah. Page one, Isabella. Wait, are you saying you're wondering <laughs> if we if we noticed him? You motherfucker, we pointed him out while we were watching the movie. No, th- it's funny because this Asian guy is from Twilight. He's the really? yeah, he's the Twilight actor in this movie. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> no, yeah, I think I forgot. I, I wanted to seem like the cool guy. No, here. <laughs> yeah, run back, run back. Let's let's do it as if, as if. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll we'll cut it. Don't okay, worry, we'll don't cut. worry. Thank you. I'll react. Um. I'll react. I'll react. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if you guys recognize them. Whoa, really, Paul? <laughs> yeah. I love Twilight. <laughs> I don't know if um, I don't know if Paul watches the stuff that I make when I edit it, but I always try my best to make him look as dumb as possible. So you just know that I'm not cutting <laughs> this out. None of all of this is staying in. Keep it all in. <laughs> We're going, we're doing it live. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, the, the dude from Twilight's in this. Um, he is as... He is oh, did like, you know he's from Twilight? <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> he is literally the exact same character. It's like if like after Bella rejected him, he went emo and moved to Los Angeles. And like that's he's just still the guy from Twilight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just one of, those, uh, one of those things. It's like Robert Pattinson, you know? He's still... Trapped within Edward's body, <laughs> a Hulk situation. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't let him go, dude. They don't let him go. Yeah. Even with the Batman and all that doing great there, they still call him Edward. You, so you know, it's true. idiots do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Robert Pattinson deserves more. I uh, I think he's a good actor. He's an amazing actor. Him. I've been saying this for years. <laughs> go kiss him, bitch. I wish he's. He. I wish I could. Much? I was very. I was very close to him at one point. You were really. Oh my god! You got mad about me. You got mad at me about this, Paul. I went to go I see. Did? I went to go see the Lighthouse, like a early screening of it. Oh yeah, you <laughs> motherfucker! That's right. Robert Pattinson, Willem Dafoe, and the director Robert Eggers. Oh there. my god! I forgot you did that. and You didn't take me, you piece of shit. I've, there's I there's text. There's in our archives somewhere. Do you still have your old phone from like? No, three, fuck you, fuck you. There's somewhere fuck out there. You. Where everyone, I ask you, everyone I ask you, listening to this. No, everyone you. listening to this. He ditched me. I asked you if you wanted to go, and you said, eh, "I'm working." <laughs> I did not I have do that. I have Oh my I have God. an obligation to my community and my home. <laughs> if, I did not do that. If someone out there, like, if y- years from now this channel blows up or whatever, if someone wants to just archive every time I've been right. <laughs> on this show, <laughs> no. on this channel, every time I've been right, I have like a ninety-five percent batting average. <laughs> like you're in the big leagues. Yeah, ninety-five percent wrong. <laughs> the odds, the odds of me being wrong here are so so like off because I went alone. I had an extra ticket. I couldn't get anyone to go with me. <laughs> I asked mm. you. I asked one of our other friends. I asked my partner, and they said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no one wanted to go. Your partner was like, "What? A lighthouse?" <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. But continue. Um, shit, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. Oh, because we were talking about kissing Robert Pants. Yeah, <laughs> I, we got severely <laughs> off track here. <laughs> we got very distracted. Anyway, the offer still stands. Robert Pattinson. The offer still stands. <laughs> he's a real. He's a real big oh, wait. coucher. Oh. Hey, hold on, I'm getting a call. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting a call. Hold on. What's it? Uh, it's a number. I don't. What? I don't have this number. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I gotta answer this call. Hello. <laughs> no, it's it's me, Ro- Ro- Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. How'd you get my number? Oh well, I'm a big fan of what you do in the Crusty Couch, and uh, don't mind me. I have a really? call to if I sound a bit like Paul McCartney. It's because of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no worries, no worries, Robert Pattinson from the movie The Lighthouse. <laughs> You, a lot, a lot oh. of people said, what? The, a lighthouse? What's that about? <laughs> but you get it, don't you, Paul? Uh, absolutely, Robert Pattinson from The Batman. <laughs> I I love your movies. You know... Ever since yeah. Good Times. Uh, there was one time I was at a small theater uh, near Burbank, California, and I was like, mm-hmm. I heard the Krusty Couch uh, is stationed around here, 
and I wait yeah. in, in in aspirations to perhaps see you catch a client. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see you. Oh. We were, we were you want, we scheduled the kiss. You want to know why, Robert Pattinson? Sorry to interrupt you. You're a big fan, big fan, Go but ahead. I need to interrupt I, you for a second. It was, it was, it was because of my asshole friend. <laughs> His name's Noé. Noé. I'll write that down. That's yeah. That's N O. You might have seen him. N O E E. Yeah, N O E. N O E. Uh, no, just a single E. Oh, it's a dumb name. Yeah, you can you can <laughs> probably put a an S behind the E. S behind wow. E. Okay. And uh, you probably saw him. You probably recognized him. He was probably the smelliest, ugliest, stinkiest, slimiest. I was thinking. I was thinking cutest. just that. So I'm sure you saw him. But anyways, if you see him again, because he's gonna go watch the lighthouse too. <laughs> um, yeah. I, he'll see you there. Yeah. This, I. I. It's part of the MCU now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Robert Pattinson. I gotta go. I, I hope. I hope uh, we... No, Ed's actually calling the other oh, line. He's, he. He wants. I hate him yeah. so much. <laughs> okay, I'll let him know that you hate him. I hope we kiss. <laughs> yeah, I'll kiss you uh, next time. We'll huh? See you next time. All right, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Lighthouse 2. It's the summer. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. You there. Oh, hey, no, what's up? Oh, hey, uh, are, you, are you back from your phone call? What was that call? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was talking to a friend. Oh, okay. You might have known him. Yeah. yeah he actually went to the Lighthouse. He, he went to, see to the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he lives there. Holy shit! <laughs> he, he somewhere, lives there. somewhere in upstate Maine. <laughs> yeah. he, he was looking for you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I, you know, I'm unfortunately, you, know. you know, like I prioritize this over like random phone calls. So, you know, <laughs> well, I don't know. But he was actually a big fan. He's trying to give me a kiss, but wow, again. I told him, yeah, again. I know. I swear and, to God, dude. I'm sorry. I need to cut you off. I'm going to find mm. my old phone and I'm going to dig through these text <laughs> messages. I'm going to find you saying no to me. <laughs> you can go ahead and find <laughs> Prove, care. You can prove it. You prove it, you motherfucker. You know, I know. Okay. Robert, ha- Robert Pattinson hates you, though, by the way. <laughs> I, he told me. I feel like I feel like if you're on, you're erring on the side of Robert Pattinson, you're just in the wrong. I mean, if Robert Pattinson said it was going to happen. <laughs> We sidetracked so hard. Come, I'm gonna reel us back into the movie. Okay. Right. No. Back into uh, the All shitty right. movie. Person three and then four get taken right, away. Right. Then the girl runs through the hall and she sees a little bit of body horror from time to time. Yeah, the it's very minimal. Significant ones being the Asian guy was like fused to a railway. Yeah. And the girl. With the bad stomach was like on the ceiling covered in cum or something. Yeah, she was like, she was like a uh, metamorphosis to like like the fly yeah. to the wall. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a great yeah. way to put it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then the main character gets trapped in a box for eternity, and that's it. Well, she gets like, Woo! we were arguing like she's like the nicest character. Yeah, and like she's like very kind to everyone, and she's the f- she's the one that introduces the idea of taking that girl like the cult girl because she had nowhere else to go yeah I'm like oh we should you know like yeah. invite her over to our hotel but like she gets like the worst punishment at the end like everyone just dies but she gets like her mouth sewn shut and she's just trapped in a room with this like demon thing yeah yeah i'm like that fucking sucks i i think the movie and i i said this after watching i think is the movie trying to say like no good deed goes unpunished I know, right? Like it's trying to put that message of like, like if you like, if you stick up people for people, pe- yeah. If if you if you help the uh, people down their luck, uh, we're gonna sew your fucking mouth shut. So don't say another yeah. fucking word, idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, yep. what's funny is the 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 religious like Christian guy or uh, in the movie, he's like, nah, fucking leave her. Let's go to Coachella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So like, was the movie trying yeah. to say something there? Because, I, uh, some some focus was put on like his religion or faith or whatever. There was a lot of emphasis on his faith, yeah. But it's just like, you know, like it's all just so like surface level and like boring. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. where he's just like, oh, he's religious and it's not going to save him. It's like, okay, yeah. There's no <laughs> why. There's no bigger picture. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't lead up or pay off or anything like that. Like, it's just kind of mentioned, very like 
matter of factly. Yeah, it, it's like yeah. it's like a character <clears throat> profile is religious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I I had I did not like the characters at all. They were very. No, they were all. So they're all bad people. Annoying. They all got upset that this like girl that killed herself in, in their room ruined their Co- Coachella. I know <laughs> their Coachella <laughs> vacation. Yeah, they wanted to like just leave, <laughs> and then they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we can still make Coachella." And the main girl is like, "What are you talking about? We have to. We can't go to Coachella after <laughs> all this crap." <laughs> like, oh, don't worry about it, bestie. You'll forget all about it, and after like a couple drinks. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. And usually with these movies. Like they're unlikable, but at the very least, they're like they're charming in the sense like they rub you the wrong way, but you you sort of hate to love them. It's like, oh, what's this idiot yeah. gonna say next? Yes. What, yes. What what crazy thing is this dude gonna do? Uh, something like that. But with this movie, it's just like, wow. Yeah. These are these people are the, the scum of the earth. Mm-hmm. And and it's not even in a fun way, like you mentioned earlier, like you, where you love to hate them, like. For example, in the Friday the 13th remake, which I consider an amazing horror movie remake, um, the main character has a boyfriend who's just a fucking prick. Like, he's such a douchebag the entire time. But, like, he's so comically douchey that it's funny. Yeah. And it's like, you kind of, like, you kind of, you're rooting for him to die and he gets the best death in the whole movie. Um, But you get that really satisfying payoff because throughout the whole movie you just hate. Or you just love hating him. You just like, oh, I can't wait for that shit eating exactly. grin that just like, you know. But with this movie, you just have incredibly unlikable characters. They're not even like douchey, they're just annoying. And you don't even get that payoff with a satisfying death. Right. Or like a cool looking kill. They they just yeah. get like spirited away into like Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I believe the spirited writer away. or director believes is some sort of ironic torment yeah or something yeah although that part must have been mm-hmm. cut from the script or something yeah which is surprising because this movie apparently is more than half an hour an hour oh, and 20 man. minutes that's true yeah yeah i yep. still think that well, that was the biggest twist in the movie when you told me there's 20 minutes left and i said what <laughs> 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 talk about a twist man yeah <laughs> nothing so happened. no way what is this game that you're <clears throat> talking about? All right, so I was doing research about this movie. I, I wanted to pull up like the plot synopsis because we watched this like last week, and a lot of stuff has happened in my week since then that I, I kind of put this movie in the back of my mind. Sure. Um, so I looked it up and stuff, and I found a very alarming number when it came to its opening weekend box office performance. Not total box office, but its opening weekend. <clears throat> now I want each of you to take a guess as to how much this movie made in its opening Wait, weekend. So this, Chris, this movie I actually went to the theater. Yes. So Chris, wow. since you're our guest. Okay. You're our guest for today. I want you to take the first guess as to how oh, much fuck. this movie made in theater. Okay. Um. He's thinking all right. Hard. I'm thinking the budget for the girl from <laughs> Sarah oh, yeah. Highland. Sarah Highland from Modern Family. They have to make their money back, right? Because that's like the, that's like the thing with these kinds of movies. Yes. So, I mean, that's with every movie, but even more so with these kinds. I feel. Mhm. Ten. Ten million dollars. Ten. Oh my God. Okay. Ten million dollars. Shooting. Shooting off strong. All right. <laughs> I want to set people up for success. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they very highly people. All right, Paul, you're next. Worldwide. $10 million budget, huh? No, no, for not worldwide, worldwide domestic. Domestic? Okay. Domestic release. Yeah. $1.5 million. Okay. All right, Paul. What the? <laughs> it went from 10 to Okay. <laughs> uh, for a domestic budget? No, box or, office. Opening oh, weekend box office. box office. Okay. Opening weekend box <clears throat> office. Domestic. This movie was ass. It's so I, I can't. I can't. Well, I'm just surprised it went to fucking theater. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, that and that that's one of the points I was about to say. Like it, this movie was so bad. So I can't imagine people telling their friends to go watch it. Like it's not even it's it's not even a so bad that it's good kind of movie. Yeah. So, like I I cannot imagine people going, hey man, you should go check out Chick So good. <laughs> yeah? yeah. Can't imagine it. 
So, Jesus, <laughs> what what was what was? Were there any movies during the release? It was released in 2015. What came out in 2015 around uh, this time? I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. So it came out July 2015. Was it Civil War? July 2015. Oh, if, dude, if Civil War was out, no way this this thing made anything. What what was out around July? Just just the month of July in 2015. If you can um, find that information, yeah, that would be Give me 2 seconds. Oh my god, so we two had, seconds too much. So we had shut up, bitch. We had uh <laughs> <laughs> we had Magic Mike, Terminator Genesis, okay. okay, the Minions movie. Oh my um, god. Robin Williams final appearance in a movie, Boulevard. Ooh. Ooh. Um Ant Man. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I went to go see that around that time. Paper Town, Pixels. Oh Yeah. Okay. There was there was quite a bit. There's a lot of fucking movies out in July. Yeah. Not not that they're good, but there's a lot. There was just a lot of movies. movies. Yeah. Um, I highly doubt this movie did anything. Uh, because honestly, any movie from that list had more soul than this. So, <laughs> um, even Pixels. Um, <laughs> I would say this movie made like, I want to say like a hundred thousand <clears throat> domestic. Okay. All right. So Chris says one million. Paul says a hundred thousand. So, for further context, this movie opened up in its opening weekend. It opened up in five theaters across oh, the United shit. States. Oh, shit. All right. Less okay, than 100,000. Yeah. <laughs> Way less. And Way less. Across <laughs> across its entire run time, across its entire like box office time, it opened up in 30 theaters. So, okay. for its opening weekend, this movie grossed. Two hundred and fifty-two dollars. No, my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I overshot <laughs> so much. What was the budget for this movie? I don't know. That's actually kind of hard to find. I've been trying to look. That's for it. yeah. I bet, dude. I bet they lost so much money on oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah dude. No way. Because e- even the shitty movies, like the Steven Seagal movies, uh, those are at least like a million dollars to produce. Yeah, that that's why they that's why they like paid the actor so fat because they they usually make their money back, Dude. right? Yeah, I was banking but, on the girl from Jesus. Modern Family. Like I thought they would have just like advertised the hell out of it, <laughs> yeah. and like it, it would have at least pulled that because you can make a trailer that looks semi interesting and you get like people that don't know any better they're just like oh yeah you can definitely trick people uh i, I like paranormal activity let's go you know yeah yeah um throughout it's in <laughs> throughout its entire um lifespan this movie made three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars okay um, and that's counting right. like people streaming it people buying it on blu-ray people which is that is so insanely low, like for a movie like this. That at cost, you know, it's safe to assume it at least costs like five million to make, because shooting in L.A. is very expensive unless they did it under the table. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> but yeah, two hundred and fifty-two dollars. It's opening weekend Jesus box office. Christ, dude, that's horrible. Yeah, that's, ab- that's abysmal. <laughs> You think the uh, you wow. think the director like pulled out his noose when once he saw that? Oh yeah, absolutely. That guy shot himself. I wonder if he, 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 he is it. he is an episode on the CSI now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, in memory yep. of the director of Satanic. <laughs> Satanic. <laughs> Beloved friend. Uh, what's it? Dude, that's funny. Yeah. Maybe that's why he went back to TV only. I know, he's just like, you know what, maybe this, this didn't really work out. Yeah, he just fucking blew it. No one gets yeah. my vision. <laughs> no one gets <laughs> no. my vision. <laughs> but I would love to know the budget of this movie. Unfortunately, I can't find it. I even tried looking for it. Um, maybe there's, there's, maybe it's one of those movies where they're like so embarrassed they don't post their shit, you know? Yeah, it's like a Alan Smithy type movie where they just fucking put a fake name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this happens all the time. Yeah, but Damn, unfortunately, I cannot find it. Um, Rip. Yeah, but that was Satanic, um, a movie that 
Really, we had so little to talk about that we actually went on a tangent about making out with Robert Pattinson in the middle of this video. <laughs> that was the most fun. Well, so, with anything related to this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chris, what do you think of this movie? Um, How would you rate this movie? It made me miss cartels. Would you <laughs> recommend this movie? No, not even to like put on in the background. Yeah. Jesus. Yikes. You'd be, you'd be wasting like the effort value it takes to do that. You might as well mm -hmm. sit in silence with your thoughts for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably scarier than this movie. Exactly. <laughs> the true horrors. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Um, the refresh rate that you use on your television for this movie would be a complete waste. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> even just using that for the frames of this movie. Yeah. Um, I know Paul didn't ask, but I also would not recommend this movie. I was about to ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was um, really bad and bad in a very unique way compared to other movies we've seen on this show um, because there is so little to redeem about this movie that we were trying to have our own fun making fun of this movie and even that was hard <laughs> yeah yep exactly yeah and uh as for me i uh give it two thumbs up it's pretty good <laughs> you're gonna fucking pull a septic man fall <laughs> no, no. no it was pretty bad <laughs> yeah. i do not recommend this movie uh unless you like uh maybe jerking off to boring stuff like, yeah i don't know i can't even make a joke it's not it's not there's nothing there there's nothing there <laughs> yeah, yeah there's, there's nothing there there's really nothing yeah there's really nothing there <clears throat> i guess i guess that's a yeah uh, yeah well <laughs> don't watch it that's gonna do it for this don't don't give him a dollar don't do, it. <laughs> don't do it yeah we watched this movie in a um let's just say we sailed the high seas for it and it still was not worth it yeah um Yar har. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for joining us on this episode, Chris. Where can people find you? Plug your shit. What do you do? Um, what do you say? I make videos on at Share the Pudding on YouTube. You can find me okay. on Twitter, Twitch. He makes good stuff. He made he made a vlog with me and him, and it's very funny. It's peak comedy. Some of my best um, work. Yeah. Uh, so Is Robert Pattinson on it? Hmm. Is Robert Pattinson there? No. You wish. He, he was um, he was otherwise indisposed. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't make it. <laughs> Scheduling conflict. He wanted to be but, there. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you want me to call him for you? <laughs> so it's like, all right, guys. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, we will. Oh wait, see hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a call. Oh, it's oh, it's Robert Pattinson. Uh, I gotta answer this. Wait, what the fuck, Robert Pattinson? What are you doing in my house? <laughs> <laughs>